city of San Jose is on the rise. New buildings are being developed, and new communities are being formed. And the Filipinos of the area will be left behind. At Northside Community Center, heading the $25 million project is not your typical average chief executive officer. Welcome. My name is Ben Menor, the President and CEO for the Filipino American Community Development Council here in San Jose, California. Come on, guys. Grab a lunch. Sit around. We'll cover some more stuff for the conference. In 1969, The difference between what's happening now with say Filipino activism as to Filipino activism in the early 70s was that many of us were willing to put ourselves on the line. In the early 70s I was ready to get beaten by, by cops to say that I did not like what was going on in Vietnam. I was ready to protest against the way they were treating Asian Americans uh, in the war. Today uh, young people may not have that same condition. Yes, they'll say it, uh, they'll talk a big piece about it but you can see that they're not there and their passion is not necessarily ready to put themselves on the line. We're too conscious of our material belongings and, and therefore we'll go to a certain degree of activism but not necessarily to the point where we'll get ourselves arrested. 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 There were days or there were nights where we hardly had anything to eat. I would take the rice and we would have milk though and we would, I would put the rice and the milk together and put some sugar and I would mix it and that would be my meal. We would go to the backyard and we would pull weeds that you would say weeds but they're kulunai and we would boil that and that would be our vegetable. So the only way I can sort of knock down the, 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 the attitudes of racism among the students was to join sports. And then when I played sports, it was important to go 110%. It was part of my coach's belief that if you want to gain, you want to win, you can't do it not, you can't do it less than 110 percent and it's like 110 what's wrong with 100 percent well that's everybody else what puts, puts you above the rest is putting yourself 10 percent more responsibility permeated in him through the boy scouts commitment was defined through high school sports and community activism during his youth escalated into his life's work to become a true community leader for the Filipinos my goal is to build a community that establish a caring community that will share people's dreams so that those dreams will come true. Then launched a campaign towards the creation of a new Northside Community Center and housing unit in 1993. Ten years later, this long-term goal is approaching its opening ceremony. When we decided to start building the community center, we went and said we're going to give not just a mediocre center for the seniors, we need to give them as if they've never seen anything better than this, that the quality is there, everything has been thought out. So the, the expenditure of time was, was important to create the very best uh, infrastructure and facility for our seniors. Recently, he was asked to take upon the challenge of organizing the 5th National Empowerment Conference. Now, why can the theme of forging a national consciousness uh, for the Filipino community in America is a tremendous undertaking. 
Uh, maybe I should have just kept it simple and just run it like a typical conference where you have a bunch of speakers, you have a bunch of workshops, and everybody just goes through whatever they want to do. I didn't want to do that. Uh, we have never done that in the city of San Jose. We have always done everything uh, first class, uh, quality. Don't ignore it more than the CI. He belongs to 15 plus organizations, receives honors for his dedication to the community, and maintains a work schedule that goes beyond the average eight hour day. He has a big strong work ethic. I 